Hey, pay attention, Willard, because we're about to talk about one of your neighbors from down there in Virginia for just a few moments. It's on Talk About, and the subject is, well, it's an opening that looked familiar enough with lights and celebrities and so on, but this one was in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, not in Hollywood, and the star was familiar as well, Elizabeth Taylor. But she was there for the opening of a play and not a film, a play that she hopes will take her all the way to Broadway. Here's Ike Siemens. Last Friday, Elizabeth Taylor celebrated her 49th birthday. That evening, she reached another milestone by performing in her debut on the stage in Lillian Hellman's The Little Foxes. Oh, he was so charming at supper tonight, Birdie. Mr. Marshall certainly thought so. Hey, Regina, do you think he did? Oh, can't you tell when you're... In the next six Marshall months, Liz Marshall Taylor will perform in this play in Fort Lauderdale, Washington, and New York. It's been fun, hard work, and an endless round of interviews, most of which begin... Why did you decide to do a play? <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. When did you decide to do a play? <laughs> On the stage, Elizabeth Taylor has found a new home. I consider myself a stage actress now. Mm -hmm. You do? Yeah. Is it different from movies? Well, I think it'd be very hard to go back to movies, actually, because you sit around so much, and you don't have the sense of continuity or the flow. You sit around most of the day, and you... Uh, at the most, do two or three pages. Mm -hmm. And I think I'd really find that kind of boring now. Is there a difference between what you're doing now and acting for the movies, in terms of being motivated, in terms of uh, your pacing and rhythm? Well, acting is acting. I've always believed that. Um, but you have to, on stage, project more and use body movement, body language more than, um, like in films, you use the face flicker of an eye can be a whole sentence in, in body language. And on the stage, of course, you can't get away with that. You have to use all your limbs. How about your husband, Senator Warner? What's been his effect on your new career in the theater today? How does he see all this? Well, he's very uh, in back of it, 100% in back of it. I think he was actually more nervous last night than I was. Yeah. Uh, he sort of said it was like counting the returns in Richmond. <laughs> Maybe I was more nervous than he was then, so I could identify with that. Um, but he's, he said he was very proud, and I believe he is. Any similarities between this and the political life that you've been leading for the last four years or so? No, not really. Uh, in politics, you don't have Lillian Hellman writing lines for you. You're out there by yourself. What is the, the most enjoyable thing doing what you're doing now? Is it the relationship with the cast? Is it the relationship with the audience? What do you... Uh, what do, what Both. Do you... The relationship with the family. And we are like a family. It's going to be very hard to say goodbye to everybody after six months. Um, because we really are integrated. And, of course, the relationship with a new audience every night. You, you're responsible to the audience. I mean, they came and they paid to see you. You're directly responsible to them mm -hmm. and it makes a kind of bond that uh, you know you don't sense in films of course was this harder than than you expected or was it easier than you expected to prepare for this it's more or less as i had expected mm -hmm. it's neither easier or more difficult uh it's been fascinating mm -hmm. very interesting did you think that perhaps you waited too long to uh, make the move to the theater no no i don't feel that way at all I feel that this was the right time, mm -hmm. and it happened for a reason. What was the reason? I don't know. Again, I'll tell you in six months. <laughs> for today, Ike Siemens, NBC News, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Yeah, do the same. Coming up on 12 Minutes now.